Okay, let's talk about Farnsworth GPS. Well, I built this about a decade ago for Android and iOS, and a lot of people have found it very helpful. But I decided I wanted to open source this project so that you, the farmer, the hacker, can uh, do this at home. See, my big concern is with uh, these large corporations, now nothing wrong with business, but they tend to make things very expensive, way more expensive than they should, and a lot of times you don't have access to your own data or it's held somewhere, or you're forced to pay a subscription. Those kind of things kind of make it annoying to um, own and control your own data. So with that, I want to talk about the uh, open source Farmsquare GPS project that I'm uh, maintaining. You can take something like this, like this is like a hundred dollar tough book you can get on eBay. Um, you might upgrade it with SSD or something like that, but for really cheap, you can get something that's pretty durable that can survive in a tractor cab or in your sprayer. Uh, another option is this. Well, what's this? This is just a uh, Raspberry Pi with just a regular 7-inch Raspberry Pi uh, touchscreen. But what my goal was, was to make uh, the software work on just about any platform. So what I decided to do was to use uh, Node.js. Um, which is just the JavaScript engine that works on just about everything these days. And also use uh, just a simple window uh, manager uh, kind of kit kind of thing, like you would have like Xorg and Linux, but uh, the application I wanted to use was Electron because it can run uh, JavaScript web apps. So we could put this together rather quickly and also uh, people that are uh, familiar with JavaScript or web development would be able to pick this up pretty quickly and JavaScript is easy to uh, pick up. So if you're new to programming or just want to learn how to do this kind of thing, uh, JavaScript is kind of a you know ubiquitous and easy thing to pick up. With that, I decided to use React. Um, it's easy to learn, easy to build uh, a UI with. And also, just use a simple uh, GPS receiver like this. This is the GlobalSat BU353. You can pick these up online usually for about uh, 30, 40 bucks. They're really cheap. Uh, they're USB. There's a just a regular serial version available too, but this is, has like a one hertz refresh rate. Uh, there are faster models available, but it's cheap and it works. So basically, when we want to put all this together, uh, whether you're using uh, just an old lap Windows laptop, MacBook, uh, or you decide to go ARM and use like a Pi or something like that. Uh, my objective is that we build uh, a system where we can monitor a uh, field application, whether it's spraying, spraying fertilizer, whatever, relatively simply, um, and that we have control over our data. And so we're going to try to do this with as much open source software as possible. All right, let's kind of take a look at uh, what we're working with here, the progress of this project. Um, if you go to uh, plannermonitor.com, progress. Uh, I've started kind of maybe blogging a little bit about this project, kind of get some interest build up. But you'll see that Farnsberry GPS Dev Edition uh, is now available on the Microsoft Store. Now uh, this is a paid version. Um, basically I put this up as a compiled version on the Microsoft Store so that uh, you know if you're not real experienced with compiling code um, you can just pick it up and help support the project by just paying the $50 of the app cost. Or, you can always access the source code and compile it all for free. I've got a build guide on our forum at plannermonitor.com. If you check that out, uh, you'll see uh, some just basic instructions. Now, this is a JavaScript project, and I use the Node Package Manager, NPM, to put all this together. Now, we ignore some of this coloring here. This uh, Node BB forum uh, sometimes highlights words that we don't want highlighted. Anyways. Um, Here's some general build instructions, and you can also find the repository at my GitLab. Easy to build. Uh, as you can see here, these are the simple steps to put the project together. Now, one thing I want to mention, if you decide you want to join the Electron Farming uh, Forum, uh, I've got a, a locked down, so it's not open to the public without an invite um, or registration approval. So if you get on there, go ahead and sign up, and that might take me a day or two before I get to um, approving your account, but I'll get you uh, access to the forum. That way you can uh, ask questions and contribute to the developer. You can contribute to the developer forum uh, 
basically I want to start a community of people that are interested in farm hacking and this uh, GPS project is just kind of the beginning of it. I want to make it available uh, for just general discussion um, and development of different farm related projects whether that be um, GPS related or whether that be uh, monitoring field data whatever it is. I want to create an open source forum uh, that's based around ag tech. I want to bring uh, developers, farmers, and hackers all together to make products that you know benefit the farmer. If you want to see what the app does uh, right now uh, at its current, current state, uh, it highlights where you've been in the field. Uh, basically you can input your width of your implement, type in your width, name your field, hit OK. Um, now in an earlier screen you set up your GPS connection but basically what it does is it'll highlight where you've been in the field. Uh, there's some other tools off, there's some other tools in there um, including uh, basically field measurement tools um, and you can access some of your GPS settings. Very basic. Doesn't do a whole lot yet other than show you where, you, where you've been in the field. Uh, at some point I might add in light bar type navigation uh, but for now, for the start of the project, I wanted to keep it simple so that people could understand what's going on in the code and that hopefully we can get some other people involved with this project to really get it to take off. Uh, now again, my objectives for this, uh, it's open source and I want to keep it that way. I also want to keep a pipeline that compiles the latest stable version and make that available commercially. Um, through uh, the PlannerMonitor.com store and also the Microsoft store. This is a way where I can uh, bring in some income to help support this project to be the maintainer. It would be great and nice and all if we had all kinds of money just to dedicate to this all the time um, and not worry about selling apps. That would be great, but that's not the reality of it. Um, this project will need some funding uh, so that we can dedicate time to it. So. If you have a chance, check out the Microsoft Store, check out our PlannerMonitor.com store where you can buy kits to make uh, this uh, ARM Pi based uh, GPS nav navigation system. Uh, you can get it unassembled if you want to build it yourself or you can get it uh, assembled like this um, so that all you got to do basically just plug it in and launch the software and you're ready to go. Uh, on eBay I've got a tough book offering too where I'm just kind of just taking some of these old tough books and refurbishing them. Some of them are pretty old, like this one's got quite a few scratches and dents, but you can get a significant discount on a tough book if you buy them used and kind of refurbish them. Uh, this is a great way to build the Fire Spare GPS system. Why? Because these old tough books are pretty well indestructible as you can see. They've been hard to tell them where this thing came out of the ambulance, police car, I don't know, but it, it's seen quite a bit of use but it's still working pretty well. That's a good way to get started building a cheap system. Again, my objective is, you know, this is your project. Um, it's open source. You do with it what you want. You want to hack the code. You want to add new features. Um, you really want to take control of your own data. Um, everything is kind of an open format. So I'm using just JSON files to store um, the GPS data. So you can get in there, look at where you've been. You can do whatever you want. Um, if you want to pick up some, a little bit of JavaScript, um, you can pretty much do anything you want with the project. And that's kind of my goal, is to see how people take this, see what they do with it, um, and just really contribute to a community based on uh, free access to your data and cheaper alternatives than a lot of the commercial solutions out there. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of the GPS solutions out there, they cost a lot of money, but they work really good and they get the job done. And for business where you want high availability, you want high reliability, right now this project might not be great for you. Now if you're the kind of farmer hacker that wants to take the time to kind of learn about how the system works, take control of your data, build your own system, help us work out the bugs, this is great for you. So um, again, check out planter, plantermonitor.com um, and check out our forum on there too. Uh, I'd really like to get that forum built up of people interested in this sort of thing. And then kind of post ideas of what you think it would be some other kind of farm hacking, ag tech projects we can work on in the future. Again, 
PlannerMonitor.com. Thanks for watching this, guys. I'm posting this on the Tech Dio channel. Um, I'd like to uh, start creating more content based on actually making stuff, um, not reviewing PC parts or anything like that. Um, I think everybody and their brother is doing that on, on YouTube now. So I kind of like to focus on creating projects that are open to the community that uh, people can work on, build themselves, and have fun doing it. Thanks again for watching. Again, check out PlannerMonitor.com. Check out our store if you want to help support the project. Maybe pick up uh, one of these uh, kits.